All right, I'm David Harry, and in this video, I'm going to be testing a Rode Lavalier Go with a DJI Osmo Pocket. But to start off this test, I'm going to do something very unreasonable, which is to stand right next to an extremely busy dual carriageway at rush hour, just to see what kind of like sound we're getting here, or, well, can we actually hear my dialogue above all these cars? As you can see in the background here, there's a ton of cars going by. So this is a very, very unreasonable test of this setup. Anyway, as mad as what this bit was, I, I just had to do it because it's just good to test things in these environments. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go into the park. I'm gonna sit down and do something a little less mad. Okay, so to something a little bit more saner than standing by a dead busy main road, trying to talk into a camera with a lavalier microphone. So what I'm doing here, I'm just gonna talk a little bit, just sitting down relaxed like this to give us a better idea of the tonal characteristics of the Lavalier Go paired up with the Osmo Pocket. So what I've got here is just the, you know, the lav in the same, you know, well, similar position as what most people will put it in for this type of stuff. It's just clipped onto my shirt here. Not entirely sure if we can see this, only because the pocket is probably gonna be trying to just keep like, you know, face tracking me, may not get down to there. Anyway, so, just a quick explanation, I've got the little foam cap on it as well, the little foam shield, and I've got to put that on because it is breezy. Um, I didn't want to do a take without it because the chances are it was going to be too much breeze anyway. So what we're hearing here right now is exactly how these two things sound. Now also as well, just for this part of the demonstration of how it all sounds, I'll make one thing extremely clear here. I've actually been given this microphone free of charge and it came from Road Direct from Australia with a bunch of other things. Those things I'll also be doing some stuff on as well in the near future. But the thing with this though is that, and which, which is absolutely brilliant as well for, the, for this video, is that Road didn't even ask me to do a review of any of the stuff that, me, that they sent me. So whilst I'm giving people the warning, yes, this is free stuff, I wasn't even asked to do a review of it full stop. So this is what you could call like, absolutely no pressure review do you know what i mean not that i feel pressured anyway from doing these things because as people know uh, who've seen me other stuff when i get stuff sent through from a manufacturer or a reseller i never take on board anything that they want me to say as far as anything that might bias an opinion or something that will show their product in better light or anything i do however take on board like um, say input for technical details which may need to be explained but anything to do with the actual operation of the things and how to use them nah i just do that the way i want to do it so what you're hearing here right now is completely unadulterated and more to the point road didn't even ask me to do it so how cool is all this then anyways yeah so this should give us a really really good idea of how this combination sounds in this particular setup like i say you know, I've come somewhere where we can hopefully hear the things a bit better rather than standing by a stupid busy main road. Anyway, so for the second part of this test, I'm now going to conceal the lavalier under my t-shirt. Okay, so to the concealed lavalier variation. What I've done here, I've just taped <laughs> the lavalier go to my chest. I want to say taped. I use masking tape to do it. So basically, I just grabbed what was to hand so I could tape it to my chest. So right now, the microphone doesn't have its little phone cap on it. So I don't need that, hopefully, whilst it's underneath my T-shirt. And on that point, it's just about somewhere there. Don't know if we can see where that is because the camera is going to be locked to my face for tracking, but it's underneath my T-shirt just there. So like I say, no phone cap on it, so no phone filter or nothing. I don't think I'm going to need it. It still is breezy, but hopefully the T-shirt is kind of like doing a bit of a, a wind blocking job there as well. Now, the other thing as well, with it being under my T-shirt, you know, there, there should be a difference in tone and stuff. So this should give us an idea of these differences. And as far as the sound is concerned with this, as it is with anything that I do like this, which is a full on test to see exactly how one thing or two things respond with each other. I don't do any processing of this stuff. So what it is in post, all to do is put a slight limit on so I can raise the level in post, that's all. So no re-EQing and no heavy dynamics or anything like that. Because when I record stuff, what I do, I give myself a little bit of dynamics headroom during the recording. And that's only so that I don't like, you know, clip or run the, you know, run like, you know, the risk of distortions and stuff like that. And then also do in post, 
I just lift them up a little bit, put a slight ceiling limit on so that they don't hit zero and clip and stuff like that. And that's it. So what you've been hearing during these takes is exactly how this microphone sounds with the camera. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is shoot off anyway, because I think this should give us or should have given us enough of an example as to how these things sound together. So once again, this has been the Rode Lavalier Go and the DJI Osmo Pocket working together, hopefully in perfect harmony. So the last thing I'd like to say it anyway is a massive thank you to Rode Microphones for the stuff that they've recently sent me and also for not giving me any pressure to do reviews. Do you know what I mean? So this has been a completely um, off the cuff review for something that I wasn't asked to review, which has been great from my point of view. And if you're into this kind of stuff that I've been doing with the pocket and uh, the action and stuff, if you check out my website, which is www.djiosmoaction.com, you'll be able to see all my videos there as well, as well as in playlists on my YouTube channel and stuff. And if you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave comments, all that kind of funky stuff. Anyway, I'm out of here now because I want to go and get food because I'm flagging once again because I've forgotten to eat all day because I've been editing before I shot out and done this. So anyway, my name is David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.